The European bison being reintroduced to the UK has led to much misinformation and controversy. So today I'm going to try and create a clear picture to why the bison is being introduced to the UK, and the actual evolutionary history of the bison, as well as its decline and eventual recovery in Europe. During the time of the Great Mammoth Steppe, few megafauna were as common as the steppe bison. Stretching from the British Isles all the way to North America, these majestic beasts began to adapt to their newfound habitats. While this was happening, the world was experiencing a massive breakdown and decline in their ecosystems. The last ice age came to a close, and humans began to viciously hunt the megafauna that once seemed unchanged by time. As this happened, two main species evolved from the steppe bison. The American bison during the Pleistocene to Holocene periods, along with the European bison in the late Pleistocene, of which we are discussing today. Now, the European bison was not a grazer like its ancestor, the steppe bison. Studies have shown that it was a browser, perhaps explaining its survival into the modern era. While other wild bovines such as the aurochs were a victim of habitat loss, the European bison's adaptability led to them somehow surviving into the modern era. During the 1920s, only 600 bison in the world remained. Due to these populations being fragmented in zoos or being poached in the wild, the bison's population continued to decline. Thankfully, because of genius conservation programs, by the 21st century the bison population was creeping up to 1,000. Unfortunately, because of how low their numbers were, there was little genetic diversity. It is important to highlight the animal's range. Living from Spain to Poland, these animals never existed in the British Isles. Furthermore, the steppe bison died out in the UK around 10,000 years ago. So if European bison don't belong in the UK, why are organisations such as the Kent Wildlife Trust insisting on introducing them? Well, European bison are a keystone species, meaning that their natural behaviour shapes the environment they live in. They mainly inhabit mixed forests, with open grasslands, browsing on leaves and other vegetation, supporting other species such as birds and insects. They help distribute seeds, as well as fertilising the vegetation through their dung. Interestingly, it has been observed that jackdaws love to feed off the insects that harass the bison, creating a symbiotic relationship. Even finches in Spain have been noted to use bison fur in their nests. They are also the largest native herbivore to Europe, growing up to 3 metres long and weighing up to 610 kilograms. The more people study European bison and their effects on ecosystems and animals, the more we want to introduce them into new environments. And also the European bison are just plain awesome. Many online have very strong opinions about the releasing of bison into a woodland in Kent, originally starting off with three females and now a fourth individual which was rather famous in the news recently. This group is the first test to see how European bison will adapt to Britain. Although a majority of people have been very happy with this new addition to Britain's wildlife, a vocal minority of people actively oppose the European bison being introduced into the wild. On YouTube, comments such as, what next? Dinosaurs? The UK rewilding programme is horrible for farmers. Great idea, not. Why not give these areas to farmers for grazing towards something useful, i.e. food? Not only that, these animals are potentially dangerous. Bison? How stupid can we get? Bison are big. Now I wouldn't be lying if I said these comments are hilariously ignorant, but the opposition of rewilding in the UK is a big issue. First off, there's the demonisation of bison. European bison are not dangerous by any means. Unless you approach them or threaten their calves, they will not attack you. Many of you may have seen videos online in places such as Yellowstone National Park where the bison are visibly aggressive to people. Now this is because people are interfering with their personal space or are not respecting the animals. Very rarely are these bison attacks unprovoked, especially within European bison. Still at this woodland, the area is fenced off, so you are completely safe. Ironically, many of the people who leave these comments are from the older generation that have actively ignored the decline of the environment in England. Megafauna are extremely lacking in modern Europe. Many have gone extinct or have been in massive decline. Since 1970, the average abundance of species has declined by 
This is a terrible amount, and will continue to increase as time goes on. If we do not do something to combat the decline of biodiversity in Europe, then there could be serious damages for future generations. And we can make a start on this by reintroducing our keystone species, such as the European bison, even in areas where they did not once inhabit. Conservation has been shown to have great benefits for farmers, leading to healthier soil, cleaner water, and many other benefits that I can't list off in this video. It deserves a whole video of its own if you guys would be interested. So please, before you leave a hateful comment about the Kent Wildlife Trust's introduction of bison, do some research. It could help educate others.